30s at night I thought oh I'm gonna try out my pellet stove we we tried it once like during the day just to do like the first three hour burn that it required but it's gonna be 37 tonight so I may run it a little bit on low and look here is not that awesome look at that I think I'm not just sitting here the rest of the day <laughs> oh it's lovely so yeah I'm gonna test it out and see how warm it gets in here. Um, it was 61 in here. I'm gonna start it on low and see. It goes all the way up to level nine. So we'll see how much heat it adds in here. And then definitely tonight will be a good telltale sign since it's supposed to be 37. You know, I think it will retain some heat in here just in general. I'll see what my stove needs to be running on as far as what level, how much heat it puts out. I do have a little app that tells me, you know, how warm it is in here. So we'll keep an eye on it. I'll let you guys know how it does. So I just turned the stove on and it's 67. Let's see what it does in about an hour. All right, so the blower just now kicked on. It goes into a startup mode when you first turn it on. And you can set the parameter as far as like heat range one is what I have this on and blower speed five. So. The, it, start, it starts up, but it starts up showing SU, which is like a startup mode. And then it heats up for like, I guess, 10 to 20 minutes. And then it goes out of startup mode and the blower comes on. So that's where we're at now. There was actually a little fire in it before the blower started while it was still in startup. But now it's in its regular mode. So after testing out my pellet stove, I've had it on for an hour, a little over an hour. So right at the one hour mark, we were at 75 degrees in there, which was really good. I only have the stove running on level one. So I think it's doing really great. I'm gonna turn it off for a little while cause it's 55 out here and it's warm enough inside here without it on. But I think tonight since it's gonna be 37, I will turn it back on and we'll do another test and see how warm it stays in here with the sun completely down and it being 37. But yeah, I love it. It's great. Well, it's that time of year again. Gotta head to the woodshed and fill up the rack on the front porch because we might need a fire tonight. Being it's gonna be 37. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to run the stove all winter. It came so quick, summer just went so fast. It always does, though. But starting to get that winter feeling coming on and cozy up in front of the fire, doing our winter thing. What are you doing? Trying to mount these places on that my door. Oh, on the front part to cover up.
good morning. So it was a cool night last night. I think it got down to 38 here. Um, I had my pellet stove running all night and I just put it on level one just to see on the lowest level what it would keep the temperature at my greenhouse and it got no lower than 60. So it's pretty good. Um, I got up and checked it this morning and there was still quite a few pellets in there. So I think that's really good. We'll continue to watch it as the nights dip cooler than that and the days and things like that. But so far for the first night of using it, I call that a win. All right, I'm gonna check the dehydrator real quick. I have some little cherry tomatoes that I have left over in here. Okay, let's see. No, not quite ready yet. They're still pretty pliable. Um, I always take mine out when they're They've hardened up, you can just barely move them just a little bit. Um, I think these need to go a little bit longer, but not too much longer. All right, I've got a mission today, or I'll say we, because me and Seth are going out to look for our pumpkins for our October festival, which is gonna be this weekend on Saturday um, at our church. And we gotta find pumpkins, because we're gonna be setting up a pumpkin patch, and I'll take you guys along on all that fun stuff. So hopefully we can find some today, and I'll take you guys along. We'll see what we come up with. <laughs> All right, I think I'm in luck today. They have regular mouth ball lids in stock. What a find. All right, we're headed to get our straw bells for the fall festival. Pray that it doesn't rain. Okay, so Aldi's is out of pumpkins, so I think I had two, which we need more than that, so we'll save those for somebody else, and we'll keep looking. Well, I'm back home, and the cherry tomatoes are finished. A little thing on the back of my door. This is actually like for shoe storage that I used to have in my laundry room and I decided I'd use it for my lids. I thought that was pretty clever. Yay, my lid find. There's still some left. I didn't go crazy. It was a Walmart in Blount County, so check it out if you need some canning lids. beautiful tomato powder just gorgeous so this was one tray in my dehydrator of cherry tomatoes went a long way because it's pretty potent and it's also beautiful look at it fall colors right there good morning so Seth and I are out on our hunt again to look for pumpkins we didn't have success the other day but we only went to Aldi's so we thought we'd check again a couple days later so that's what we're doing our Oktoberfest is tomorrow if it doesn't rain. So we're like on the fence right now is whether we're going to be able to do it or not. It's like 50% chance. So if it does rain, we're going to postpone it till next weekend. But we're still headed out to do the pumpkins and get the food. Well, no luck for pumpkins at Aldi's. I think they're done with them. Seth said they have bananas there now. So I think we're going to head into Wally World and see if we can find some. It's raining, but we got all our stuff. Minus the pumpkins. No, they were out. No pumpkins, no pumpkins at all in Walmart. So we're headed to Lowe's and maybe Kroger to see if they have any. I don't know, hopefully. But here again, it's raining. So tomorrow might be majorly up in the air. But we can still get it. If we can find them, we can still um, store them until next weekend, so. All right, we found them at Kroger's, two for nine. It's the best we can do, but they've got quite a few. 